welcome back. So this week we're going to do You Need to Know This and we'll see what the cards say. Um, but before we get going on the reading, I just want to talk to you a little second about Turkey um, and Syria and the awful earthquake that's happened over there. Um, I have shipped over some money to, um, to some charities over there already to try and help people that have been left um, without anything you know you can't without anything and they're looking for their families and my heart really really goes out to them um so if you guys wanted to make any donations along with me can you just drop me an email mr love tarot at gmail.com and i can share the information with you and we can um if you want to make any donations to them we can um we can get that sent over um yeah my heart my soul is with you all um and i'm sorry that you are experiencing such a an awful awful time um you know, there's no words really, is there, when, when such awful things happen. Um, so yeah, if you guys did want to help out um, and, and, you know, where we can do what we can, there's not much we can do in, in, uh, in the other countries at the moment, but, you know, I'm trying to do what I can to help out where I can. So if you guys want to help out with me, um, just drop me a message, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. Okay, right, moving on. Um, let's go back to focusing on the centre of love. So today we are going to do, you need to know this. Now I was brought, drawn to two decks and I feel it's because Valentine's Day is coming up. So we're going with a bit of a rose theme today. Um, personal messages within that, if your name is Rose or you are asking about a person called Rose, that can be connected. Rose as a surname or as um, initials as well, anything along those lines, uh, specific messages involved in that for you. And if that doesn't make sense, uh, you know, not all of you is going to know someone called Rose or are Rose, um, but just using the Valentine's Day theme of Rose decks. So, the Rose Tarot by Nigel Jackson. I love this deck, absolutely love it. Um, and this one here is the Muse Tarot um, and this is by Chris Ann. So these are the two decks, these are the two roses and this is where we're going. Number one, number two, pick your deck. And as you pick your deck, deck number one, we are going to connect with your person that you're thinking about energy. So have a think about for me, the person that you want to know about. And we're going to go into your collective energies. Okay, so everyone watching will pull out the mutual energy between you all. Okay, and that being said, I also need to give out my computer shop a bit of a, a, bit of a shout out. So my laptop packed in the other week um, and I now have Zeus. Um, he is the laptop of all laptops because I called him and I was like in a rat faff um, and I told them that I would give them a shout out, a shout out on YouTube if they subscribe. Um, and so they have subscribed and I have to give them a shout out. So shout out to One Stop Computers in not so sunny Stoke-on-Trent, which is where I live. Um, Epic guys, if you're ever in Stoke on Trent and your laptop breaks, I really recommend them. Um, it broke in during COVID as well, and uh, they come to the house and um, dropped it off, and then you know, my other one, but that one packed in now. But we have Zeus, he's, he's got a name, he's very good. Okay, right, let's go <laughs> get on your reading. Um, so what do you, you need to know? This, let's say, what the cards say you need to know about your person, what do you need to know for specifics? Okay, so the first thing that's coming up as I'm jumping out, I, I will tell you the card meanings for those of you that read uh, the cards, sorry, for those of you that read tarot, you've got nine of ones. And as that card jumped out, Spirit said to me really clearly, you, they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders. So your person is feeling a little bit run down, that they've got a lot of thoughts going on in their mind and they haven't really got anywhere to channel them. They are just feeling quite overwhelmed, quite tired, quite drained, and feeling that they have got the weight of the world on their shoulders. Now, the elephant coming up on here is never forget. So a lot of the stuff of you and your person, perhaps they're thinking back to memories of the past and really either regretting how they've handled it and tired of how they've handled it, feeling a little bit beat down on themselves over the situation. And that is the first thing you need to know. And with Spirit saying they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders, they are feeling heavily burdened by the situation with you. But they haven't forgot about what's happened with you guys. If you're worrying that they have just vanished into the sunset, they are still there. They are still lingering energetically. Um, it's just that they have feeling um, quite, quite burdened as such. They 
are likely to be avoiding the situation at the moment, okay? So if you've been texting them and they haven't been replying or you've been texting them and you feel like you've been hitting a brick wall and you've just been getting one letter messages like K, um, give them a bit of space, give them a bit of time. They are just quite run down and tired. Um, it's not just stuff from the past with you guys, it's other stuff as well, Spirit is saying. So there's been some, some baggage kind of from their life that's been coming up at this point in time. And Spirit is saying to me, that is so that they can clear the energy. So karmic energy clearing, but that also burdens them. Okay, that's why they're also burdened. So that is the first thing that's coming up. Um, you need to know this. What do deck number one need to know? Just gonna get two more. And it's quite interesting, the next card that jumps out um, is the 10 of buttons as well. So the 10 of wands. We have a nine and a ten and the ten of ones um, is often about being burdened by situations. So weight of the world on the shoulders, feeling burdened. I am hearing that they are regretting how they've handled the situation. Perhaps they are regretting things that they've said and they are turning and turning and turning it over in their minds. OK, so they're really um, feeling a bit icky over the situation with you. Now, what's actually really, really beautiful here is with this happening and where their head is at, you have messages coming forward from them. So if they are in avoidance, you're going to hear from them. If you and them have had been at loggerheads or it just hasn't quite gone to plan and um, you are going to hear from them, they are going to be communicating with you. Now, it is the uh, page of wands, okay? So you've got a lot of wands energy. There is a lot of fire between you guys. You've got a very intense chemistry, a very sexual energy. Um, and often, and I just got Love The Way You Lie by Eminem, and that specific lyric that says, um, don't test my rapping abilities, that is not my forte, but that's what happens when a tornado meets a volcano. I think that's what he says in that song. That is you and your person specific energy. You are too powerful energies so when you meet sometimes it causes these eruptions and it causes these um passionate energies to come forward and that is when tongues can sliver you know spirit saying tongues can sliver you say things perhaps without thinking you act in ways where you're just feeling angry and that and that power you know behind you it comes forward so there's probably been a bit of hard communication gone on between you guys or you've just gone ooh and gone into avoidance over it all but you have got a message coming through now when they do message you um we have the ace of ones <laughs> yeah how many ones can you get in this situation so when they do message you it is likely to be from a more passionate standpoint they are going to say we've got the empress over here okay so she's coming in crowning crowning the reading she is your energy so we're never spe uh, sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel but the Empress will be you guys, okay? The power energy, the nurturing energy, the mother type energy, um, someone that they can see having their lives with, okay? This power energy coming forward. And with all the greens around it, it shows a very emotional connection. They are very emotionally connected to you. So you have messages that are coming through with the Empress crowning the reading at the end. You have messages coming through that they can see you in this beautiful, powerful energy and that they can be with you with the Ace of Wands in between. Now, you know, on this, on this channel, I often will talk about a helix of the more divine connections. Wouldn't surprise me if a lot of you are twin flames, more complicated connections going on here. So you waver it's like this funky dance <laughs> you waver in and out of each other's lives a lot of the time communication arguments etc etc but the reason why it happens is because you two are these fire energies very very strong energies so messages will come through the messages will be based on new beginnings with you and seeing you in this 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 uh, this role of having a future with them okay now the underlying things that will happen here is that the chemistry is still going to be really intense between you guys so they might not come forward and be like hey i love you or want to be with you they might be like hey i uh i was thinking about you last night if you get what i mean um so your messages might be a little bit more sexual they might be a bit more passionate and um, if you're looking for apologies over this perhaps arguments that you guys have had and um, you're not really likely to be getting them it is literally going to be these feelings that they are feeling over here they're going to put on the shelf they will shelf them and they will come towards you pretend this never happened and communicate with you and carry on where you guys left off basically um without the bs that's caused where you guys are at this point in time do know if you're not in contact that they are definitely thinking about you and that they are definitely burdened by the connection 
it's really really clear really clear they are looking for that fresh energy with you okay so a new energy coming in with the page of wands if you want to look at timings of it all give me a shout you can just drop me a message mr love tarot at gmail.com i do single uh, email readings which are a 24 to 48 hour turnaround so if you want a fast reading and there are only a tenor of question as well if you want a fast reading um just drop me a message you'll probably get them tomorrow and um, if you drop me a message today and uh i also have spaces for video readings at this moment in time we do past life readings normal readings anything that you specifically want you can find all the details on the website mrlovetarot at gmail.com okay no mrlovetarot.com let me get it right <laughs> And that's deck number one. Okay, guys, sh making the shift over to deck number two. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, hi, hi, hi. Welcome, welcome. We're having a rose theme this week. I feel very pink. I feel that the cards need to be pink, and I feel it's kind of the Valentine's Day vibration coming up for you all. So what we're doing is you need to know this, and we're focusing on you and your person. So we're going to see what you specifically need to know about the person you are thinking of right now. So think about them as I get that mutual energy. Now this deck is a bit clumpy and it does like to jump out in clumps. Um, so when it does the clumping, I will tend to uh, just take the top ones. It's a clumpy deck, I need to put it in flower. <laughs> you know, if you put your cards in flower, it stops the static, but it's just a bit of a, it's mucky, you know? jumpy jumpies okay they need to know this well let's just stop at five guys okay 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 so following the rose theme i'm actually gonna start off with the seal song kiss from a rose now how many years ago was that song that is really showing my age right now um, <laughs> Um, so Kiss from a Rose coming up, there is a romantic connection between the two of you, there is a love connection between the two of you and it looks like it's just took a step back at this moment in time. So you've got um, the Six of Swords and you've got the Four of Swords as well. So the Six of Swords talk, talks about going away from a situation and the Four of Swords talks about having healing from a situation or having a bit of downtime, having that rest. So you guys at the moment, are probably feeling a little bit of a lack of something in your life with regard to this person. Perhaps they just vanished into the sunset or you just haven't heard from them or wherever your energy is specifically, there feels to be a distance between the two of you. Feels to be more physical um, than um, energetic. Okay, so more of a physical distance between you two guys. And if that doesn't resonate with you, it might be energetically you're feeling pulled away from your person. You're feeling that there is a space going on between the two of you. Now, there is a shamanic principle, which I actually want to focus on as I'm saying that spirit, um, one of my shaman guides coming forward as we're talking about this. And he is saying that it's actually really important that when there is space, that you focus on space. So often for our lives, we go around and we look at the physical things that are around us. We have the table, we have the Jaguar, we have the chair, we have me, and we focus on what you can see, okay? But what happens if we focus on the in-betweens, the space over here, the space around me, the space between the, the goddess and, and all the bits on the table? There is space all around us. And when we focus on that space, that is when we get the biggest messages. So if you guys are focusing on what you have, uh, sorry, what you don't have, rather than embracing that space, you can feel a little bit of a distance and you can feel a bit of a lack or a loss and that can cause you a bit of pain. By focusing on the space that you do have and reading between the lines, you're gonna see a lot more. And it's almost like, that's that's a bird. <laughs> My God, a bird's eye view. We're doing the bird dance now. Um, we did, the, we did the, 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 that one and now we're doing the bird dance. <laughs> Um, so a bird's eye view on the situation is given from when you get space on it. Um, space is actually quite healthy for you and your person. So if you do feel a bit lost and a bit confused, um, we want you to know that the space is actually doing you and them quite uh, a lot of positive positives. So over here, let's have a look at this specific card of the Six of Swords. So this card is suggesting that you are more in control of the situation than what you think. And the High Priestess is jumping out. That was your first card. So this is you. 
this is your power energy this is you divine goddesses that you are or gods that you are and um, remember never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel but with the tarot it has males and females so this is the high priestess she is a power energy she has the world in her hands she is very very magical um, and spirit just showed me actually i'm going to say it now because if i don't say it it goes in one ear and it goes out again spirit is saying to me that you can create energetic balls to send messages to your specific person so let's talk through that quickly if you rub your hands together really 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 fast really 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 fast and feel that heat between them and then what you do is you pull the way and you push go to push it back together and you'll start feeling energy between your hands okay and when you start feeling that you start pushing pushing and pushing and pushing at it and you push the energy okay so you work with that energy and you create that energy ball and you know it's there because you'll try and close your hands and you won't be able to or you'll feel like there's a resistance that's your energy ball and what you do is you bring the energy together 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 okay and you get it to a good size of this energetic ball over here and then you think of a message that you want to send specifically to your person. So let's just use an example. Um, I will just use an example for you guys of text me. So think of the person that you want to think about. Think of the message you want to send. Keep it really short, okay? Because um, you've got to get it to get get it to them. I mean, if you write them an essay, it takes a bit longer for them to get that message. So something like text me, text me into the ball and throw it up and let the energy land to your person. Visualize them as it goes and it lands and it hits them and they feel it okay that's a really good way spirit saying of energetically communicating and um, not quite telepathy it's not telepathy it is an energetic communication remember energy is ever flowing okay energy emotion emotion wherever your energy goes where your emotions go your energy flows so if you focus on what you want rather than what you don't want you can create these energy energetic balls and you can send out those messages and this is where spirit is saying you are more in control than what you think i also want to talk on this about manifesting if you want a manifesting plan give me a shout where we look at individual uh, techniques for you to get your situations moving into your favor they are tailored to you i write them all um write them all and with different techniques for each and every single one of you depending on what it is that you want to bring into your world manifesting is bringing things into your reality okay what you want bringing it in and this again is you are in control of it and your person over here looks like you're about to go flick them okay showing that control energy that you guys have you have the power don't ever forget it okay so even though it's in this four of swords energy at the moment that it might be having a bit of downtime again you are getting information from spirit you are downloading, receiving, gaining very spiritual messages. Don't discount your intuition, really important. And this is what the shamanic guide was saying to me about read in the spaces. Listen to your own intuition, okay? Now the last two cards over here, we've got the Queen of Wands. No, we haven't. We've got the, the Page of Pentacles, I think. No, Queen of Pentacles and the wheel of fortune i think it's the queen it's the muses i'm going to go with the queen of pentacles okay so this is your energy this is your power this is you in your beautiful rose dresses with our rose theme you have the control now the queens will always i love the queens in tarot they are these beautiful power energy and um, and you resonate with specific queens at specific times in your life so this is saying about you getting your stability and your security. So again, within this this moment of spaces, you are downloading, you are receiving information and you are growing as a person and you are feeling this very, very maternal energy, this power energy. And it lies with nurturing yourself. And through that nurturing of yourself, the wheel turns the situation into your favour. So things change so basically these cards are saying for you what you need to know is that you are in control of this you can manifest this this can come back round, but you are the one that has got to take charge of that and if you take charge of that and you use tools that you know or if you need help specifically um we can do it we can shift it we can change it you can create co-create the future that you want recommend having a look at abraham hicks recommend having a look at um Neville Goddard. Neville Goddard? Is that right? Is that 
I've forgotten his name. You know, sometimes you just have a blank. I'm sure it's never got it. Recommend having a look at those two. Bob Proctor is also quite good. If you want individual manifesting plans with your information specifically for you with tools and techniques to bring it up to you, let me know. Um, and also with some of you, if goddess, uh, I, I am a priestess of goddess, um, druid priestess, if you want a specific ceremony um, to help manifest things, we can do that as long as as long as long I have the okay. I have to get the okay from the great powers that be for us to do that, but we can do some magic as well. So give me a shout. I love you all to pieces. Um, again, just a, just a little thing to just finish off. If you did want to have a look at donating any money towards Turkey and the earthquake, please just drop me a message, mrloftaro at gmail.com and I can send you links and information. Um, it would be lovely if we can just get, I, I've already donated money, as I said at the start, um, but it would be lovely if we can just do what we can. I know we're a bit limited and I wish in a, in a, in a world where we could do more, I wish there was more we could do, um, but do let me know, okay? Uh, I'm loving you all lots and I'll speak to you soon. Ciao.